I don't want to be the judge of what just happened today. A woman decided to throw an eight months year old baby in the ocean. It's a pathetic state of mind to just imagine how you can carry a baby, give birth to a baby, sustain the months until eight months, and then boom, you are throwing the baby in the ocean. The baby has not died. The rescuers came on handy. They rescued the baby. But I'm just asking myself, okay, I don't want to be a judge. I don't want to be a judge because I don't know what has happened to that mama to the extent of her be like, I don't want this kid again. But let me advise women, if you're tired, there are so many orphanage. There are so many families that you can just decide to go and put that baby in someone's doorstep. If it is not okay with you in that manner, go to a children's home. Talk to those doctors. Talk to those nuns. Tell them your predicament. Hi, my people. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chichi. So you can see, I am happy once again to come on board with another banger. And by the way, have you subscribed? If you've not subscribed, yeah, nini. And I want to say thank you so much for all these guys. You guys are just amazing. <laughs> You're making my day. Like, you, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, plus 10, plus 5, plus, you know, like, there is a plus plus somewhere. And I'm really, really happy for that. You guys are just making my day. So thank you so much for all the subscribers. And if this is your first time, you're coming and like this video has just popped out. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you notify yourself. Comment section. Come on. Say hi to me. I'll be really glad. And by the way, God bless you so much for always, you know, like being part of my family. So welcome back to Chichi's house. And uh, before I get to what I'm supposed to uh, to talk about today, it's a little bit sorrowful, but somehow educational, especially to women. Mm, no, it goes both ways. Now, number one, um, currently we have a sale on Alpha Roofing and Construction Supplies because we are into December holidays. And I know you are looking for legit product when it comes to your constructions, construction you know, projects. Huh? So you need Mabati, okay, you need doors, you need sinks, you need toilets, you need uh, wooden tiles, you need gutters for your rain collection water, water collection rain. <laughs> you can consult them, Alpha Roofing and Construction Supplies, here is the number. Make sure you hit them up, okay. They are legit people, they are going to give you what you desire. Now, another thing is, um, I want to talk about what has happened today. Sawa sawa. I woke up this morning, today specifically, and uh, I was so shocked that apparently a woman decided to be like, I don't want this baby again. I'm not interested in this baby. Then the woman decided to throw the baby the ocean here in kenya i think it's indian ocean you know let, let us just hold it back you are a parent i know it's not easy you know it's not it's not easy to be like a parent and then you know the the problems that we face in our homes and you are the only mom and dad like New way, way, like everything revolves around you. You get, you get tired, and you're like, I cannot do this anymore. I'm done. It's normal. And um, you find some of some of the ladies, especially mamas, atenda, atacham show home. Kama mama, kama mama ke bado mzazi yako ama labda wale wenye wamemlea bado wangali wapo. Atenda atasema na kuja kuwatembelea atawacha mtoto home arudi tao kuhangaika. 
kutafuta mapato which is fine which is very very okay but my question is you are a mother by the time you were like umeza umeza kulea umeza kuona dalili za mvua ni kama i'm going to be the only surviving parent for this kid what usually rings in your mind some of the ladies you find out somebody amebeba mimba ameenda kuzaa ametoka hospitali anachukua mtoto anafunga kwa juala anaenda natupa we've seen cases like that and that is very sad some ladies will go and uh, be like i cannot i can no longer take of this pregnancy i have to get it, i have to get rid of it they'll get rid of the pregnancy some ladies they be like i don't want to take of this baby i'm going to leave this baby at the father's doorstep or maybe if anajua wazazi wa kijana ataenda ataweka ataenda kuweka mtoto huko nyumbani ama kama anajua dada ya kijana ndugu ya kijana atampelekea mtoto so many options we hear these stories but my question is to what extent would you as a mother be willing to kill your baby like I, okay i don't want to put a blame i don't want to be like the judge here because i don't know mtu huwa anafika ngaki wango gani ya ku feel like mimi staki what a guy like i don't want this baby again now let me tell you whatever happened today so i woke up and i was reading some stories you know some gist some gossip here and there and i was like what is going on now apparently a mother decided to throw an 8 months old baby in the indian ocean am i in the show, in the ocean <laughs> okay that that is what, that is what the the gossip is saying but there were men who decided like no we've seen that baby that is a baby that has been thrown there the rain in water they took the baby out they saved that baby and apparently the woman is under arrest like according to what is happening right now the woman was arrested it's very sad it's very very sad because I know if you are arrested it usually comes to you know unajua unarudingi back to your senses you know unarudingi back to your senses alafu unaanza kujiuliza ndiko anafanya nini nimefanya nini by the way na huyo mtoto vya siwezi pewa jua ni madara Let us abuse let us talk. Let, let us talk. Let us talk. I feel like women should understand the moment you find yourself with a relationship or you find yourself entangled in a man or maybe kuna zile cases zenye maybe umepata hiyo mimba unexpectedly maybe through some weird circumstances I don't want to mention that name maybe something happened okay and you go to that pregnancy with an unclear circumstance and you're like yo wacha tu ni bebe alafu inafika mali unasema ah, sitaki tena kulea hii mimba sometimes inafika ngapo jiulize kabla uanze kulea hiyo mimba are you ready if you're not ready there's no need i'm not advocating about that because at the end of the day utaenda kutupa You know people fear talking realities. Watu wanaogopa oh ati ameongea nini? Mbona amesema hivyo? No. If it is circumstances zenye wewe mwenyewe unaona ai misi misioni. I'd rather die. Don't die. You still have a future to live. You're not old. That one is not a death sentence. You can have choices. 
you can go talk to a psychologist you can go talk to a nurse they are going to help you out and if it is the the circumstance of you knowing very well i'm having a relationship with this dude alafu imekuja kimekataa before once a relationship make sure you understand where your relationship is going and you always advocate use protection use protection if you know you are not ready to be a parent use protection it's better that way because kama unaona century yenye tuko hawezi sema ti oh abstinence abstinence is it abstinence or maybe to gain eh abstain from this the moment you tell a teenager to abstain that is when you are tell you are pushing them to the limit of like go and try Okay I attended a, a certain seminar and an, I, 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 I had I had a mama a mama saying that she decided to take her daughter uh, for family planning I was like eh form 2 I mean I'm pele family planning in our market I was so concerned I was I, I, you know I, I, I looked at that woman in a disgustful you know like unakuwa that and it's so disgusting like Why would a mother do this? Why would a mother help the daughter to start family planning in form 2? Why? Let me tell you, I did not understand. The moment I understood, I said I can never judge a parent who decides to be like this is my girl. If I don't take care of this girl as soon as possible, if I do not prevent it now, consequences are coming. Kuna watoto hawaambilikangi. Kuna ile stage haambiliki the only thing you will be expecting in your household ni watoto from 1 mtoto from 2 mtoto from 3 mtoto from 4 mtoto campus by the time anaweza kufanya kazi ya kuna watoto saba so mimi i was uh, i felt so bad why will this mama do this so aka aka wa mama wengine pia wakasema hivyo i mean kona hey, conversation ni ni bambi I, i was i was a little bit You know ile attachment ya shule. So mimi nikaona eh hii nayo ni bambi. So as, as I grew up um as I grew up I came to understand. Mzazi anaangalia mtu anaona huyu. Huyu analetewa jukumu. Huyu tunataka kuletewa jukumu. Ala soma. Anaenda anampeleka family planning. At least kana soma. Mwingine anasema wao una, una preserve mimba na ugonjwa. Hiyo hiyo ni story nyingine. <laughs> Don't talk about that. <laughs> you guys are getting me. Eh? So <sighs> I'm telling you. Before sasa unaona hiyo ni circumstances zenye imefanyika bahati mbaya. Basa wewe ni mtu mzima. Wewe ni mtu mzima mwenye kuna akili zako unajua huyu mwanaume nikilala na yeye. If I spend a night with this man, kavu kavu I'll get pregnant. Am I really ready to be a mother? Ongeeni. Where is your relationship going? Nikishika mambo talea. Ukisikia tu kwambia iwezi, jua tu you are just passing by going nowhere. You are pass you are passing by but you are going nowhere. So it's time for you to prevent yourself from getting pregnancy or pregnant. And if you decide to get pregnant, do not kill that baby. Don't. There's no need. Okay, let us talk about reality stuff. Don't 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 commit murder. If you've given birth, jikusanya. I know sometimes what I mtu anakwambia chichi wewe zile. I know. I know usiezielewa. But jikusanye mawazo. Umeshaza umetoka hospitali, usitupe afadhali afadhali uuze ama afadhali upeane ama afadhali utoke hospitali uache kama kamelala hapo ama afadhali utoke na huyo mtoto si unajua kama ni baba ya huyo mtoto unamjua for example kama unajua baba for example enda 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 uweka huko kwa baba yake kama hujui baba maybe sakamsa zilifanya ukashika hiyo mimba kuna orphanage endo ongea na manans 
imagine they usually understand utawacha mtoto pale watalea but unajua so una sign treaty ni treaty ama ni agreement eh huh? so that you don't come to disturb them once the baby is grown because i know when you will start seeing the baby has grown you start demanding you akika toto wangu ni karembo akini ka supu akijiz unaanza kusumbua watu nataka mtoto i remember um a certain lady was giving us a story that um, she really wanted to 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 remove the baby the pregnancy but uh, through a certain friend was like no don't 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 layer two layer two so the lady aka decide ku layer but alpo decide ku layer kaza mtoto mtoto mrembo mtoto smart so the lady was like templating imagine ingetoa hii member so that is it you know vile ni kadogo hivi yo like mtalea nini siju nini nini staki babake amekitaka babake siju siju nini you know hizo hizo like babake anitaki tena hata mistaki mimba staki mtoto una utupe huko huyo mtu anakuja ana ana kuwa mrembo mpaka wewe mwenyewe unaanza kuangalia hivi unaanza kutamani kameshakuwa sasa kamtu kakubwa unaanza kutamani so that one should also ring in your mind like if somebody takes care of this baby will i be ready to be like i'm your mother i gave you away because i could not take care of you are you willing to go through that process of start start defending your, yourself or oh, it was because of abcd blah blah blah, blah. Mm. so this story of this woman made me so sick and i said i i know ladies go through stuff and most of the time you find ladies throwing their babies away but i don't understand how a woman can throw an 8 months wewe unajua kuza kujifungua mtoto na kulea mpaka miezi nane kwa simpson mkubwa jamani alafu how will you live knowing very very well ulitupa mtoto kwa maji na hajakufa hakukufa huyo mtoto and you know mtandao wa haisahau so unajua mtandao wa haisahau mtandao can never can never forget it never forgets that baby will come and find that situation one day even if they hide that baby like how huyo mtoto atakuja kugundua siku moja kumbe mamangu alinitupanga na siku kufa and ushasikia ushasikia wa madem wenye wanaenda kutoa mimba alafu mimba itoki ana bleed karibu kukufa lakini kimimba kimekuwa maapo hiyo ni punishment yenye unapatiwa na even the heavens inakupea punishment kali okay sasa unaona mtu kama 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 unaona sasa mtu kama huyu mama mwenye alitupa mtoto tuseme tu akuja ajulikane ati akili yake ilikuwa chwara ati oh sijui akili ilikuwa pungwani oh sijui mama aseme oh mimi nilikuwa nipigana na mzee wangu sasa nikaona siezi la mtoto sitaki nini si maybe anaweza pewa mtoto maybe tuseme for example alafu unaona huyu mama hata hata tubu unaona hata tubu makosa hiyo ilikuwa ni roho ya kifo imemwandama hiyo roho itarudi tena We've had so many issues where mama just decides to you know to finish their babies you know wana wanawamaliza yani mama ana, anafanya vituko kwa mtu yani mama i don't know which term i should use ni use term gani because I'm, i just want to be so careful with, with the term i'm using here so that youtube will not block me unaona mama anaka mama anaamua tu ku finish mtoto petie 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 atiende jela you should not reach to that extent if you are tired with your babies enda nao tawata uache huko watarokotwa na makanjo like usijiwekelee kifo i don't know if i'm making sense i don't know if i'm crucifying my own state i don't know i don't know i don't know mungu atusaidie banange wacha mungu atusaidie to to the extent of that eh mungu atusaidie me i don't know huyo mama aki nime, nimesema tu eh huyo mama aki mtoto wa miezi nane si angepeleka tu mtoto nyumbani ama aende aachie dadake ama ndugu yake ama aende tu aachie mtu tu no but not ile kujisema tu aki 
nimefika mahali mpaka aki kwanza mimi nilikuwa na imagine ati ame ameshika hivi mtoto alafu akatupa pa kwa maji gai aki kuna wamama wako na roho hizo ni roho gani ndio zinaitwa roho za chuma he hiyo ni roho mbaya ladies love your children hiyo ndio uzao wako wa baadaye utakufunika uchi ukiwa mzee and if you don't love children usishike mimba endo ufanywe eh, wanataje felopian felop felop <laughs> endo ukatu felopian ukae bure usizae tena kuliko ushike mimba na unatupa watoto eh hiyo nayo Mungu atusamehe tu ni vile ya tujue chenye huwa tunafanya sometimes ama ni situations zinatupush but do not allow circumstances let us be people who are who who yearn the the guidance of the holy spirit let us yearn okay the moment you start yearning the holy spirit you will be at at peace anyway that is what has happened this week and it was so sad me wise i didn't like it i didn't like whatever the woman the steps the woman took it it is just bad like no okay so i don't know what is your take if you are a woman sometimes i know depression is real you know the urge to kill you know the urge you know it comes but let it not come with a price that you you will, you will pay for the rest of your life no that one no okay let us let us pray let us pray let us Let us let us be people who talk. Let us not be people who to kona stress and we do not want to talk. Be a person who likes talking. Talk. Okay? Talk to someone even if they're not your friends. Let them hear you are you out. If you have parents at home, don't say your parents are toxic. Toxic where? Toxic for what? Talk to your mother even if they are toxic. Kwambie mimi mali imefika naona. Talk to someone. Someone will help you. Jizoesheni kwenda kanisa. Unacho kusema unajua watu wanasema kanisa is a scam. That is where we most of us tuna tuna refuge na tunapata answers. Kuwa na mazoea ya kwenda kanisani, kuwa na mazoea ya kutembelea fellowships, kuwa na mazoea ya kuwa na uhusiano na wakristo wenzako. At least watakuwa wanakupatia mawaidha. Okay? Anyway, ladies let us be careful and cautious with the decision we take kwa zingine zitazitatuganimu sana. Mungu atusamehe na tuneemishe kila wakati. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page as Chichi's House. Don't forget to check me on my Instagram page as Chichi's and uh, 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 Chichi's underscore house underscore ke. Don't forget to check me on my TikTok account as Chichi's underscore house underscore ke. Okay kila mali ni chichi's house ukienda TikTok ukienda Facebook ukienda Instagram hadi hapa YouTube adoni chichi's house until next time guys bye